Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a pretty exciting video for you. Uh, I'm going to be going through a lot of information and a lot of recapping on the broadheads and components and arrows that I used this past 2022 hunting season. And with that, let's dive straight into the video. All right, arrow right here is the Easton Axis 260 spine. Now, great arrow. As you guys have seen, I switched to a four fletch partway through the year, just doing some testing. Um, very good arrow. Now, there are some things that I'm gonna be changing for next season, but we'll get down to that later in the video. So that's just the base arrow shaft that I shot all of my deer with this year, and then let's move on from there. Okay, diving into the first broadhead and component system, that I shot my first doe with this year. Now, I shot that thing with a Grim Reaper Pro Micro Hades 3 blade with the gold tip uh, trad, stainless steel trad outsert um, that weighs about 78 grains. So it comes real close to like two, 200 up front. And so with this Eastern Axis arrow, I believe that it ended up being like 515 grains something like that of total arrow weight and the first doe I shot I had this exact same arrow and component system but I was running a three fletch I shot that doe at 42 yards um, very great performance out of this broadhead I had good blood trails and f flies amazing and yeah just overall very very good broadhead and you guys have seen some other testing we've done on this channel regarding this broadhead. Um, for me, the price, the flight, and the durability, it's all just wrapped up into a great budget, great um, broadhead for the everyday hunter. My second deer that I shot was with 125 grain VPA inch and an eighth three blade with the same gold tip traditional uh, outsert weighing 78 grains. Now, so same arrow weight and everything. This broadhead differs from that Grim Reaper in the fact that it is a one solid piece machined uh, piece of steel and it's just um, a little more expensive. About 10 to 12 dollars more expensive than the Grim Reaper. I believe you can get that Grim Reaper for like $40 or like $44 a package and these were like $52 so a little more expensive but they are that one piece construction now that second deer I shot I want to note something about that I shot that deer at like seven yards on a basically a frontal shot and with my 70 pounds this arrow setup in broadhead uh, I put that arrow right through the top of the scapula and it exited out the sternum. Now, <clears throat> that was pretty expected, especially on a white-tailed deer. So, that is one benefit that um, I see when shooting a fixed blade at these um, angled and weird shots. Because deer, they definitely don't ever come in through your stand only facing broadside. So, with that being said, I want to dive into one of the broadheads that I ended up hitting a deer with. I made a video on this um, a little earlier in the year. It wasn't a very good video. So, I want to dive deeper into that. Right here is the Levi Morgan Series Schwacker. This is the 125 grain. Now, the thing about this mechanical is it is a 2.5 inch cut. So, very, very wide cut. And me, I thought with my 70 pound um, V3X, even though I have a short draw length, 27 inches, that this broadhead would be fine in most cases. And I do think that in most cases it would be fine, but I kind of tried to take a um, same shot I did with that VPA, which is like a frontal, uh, kind of in that area right there, and I ended up not getting good arrow penetration with this broadhead. Now, I know this broadhead, why it didn't penetrate is because it's a two and a half inch cut. 
it takes a lot to push this broadhead through a lot of bone so personally I think that was kind of my fault not having the judgment to not take that shot but I did think that it would make it through it and that deer is still dead but I was not able to recover it I had a one lung hit and it got into the thick stuff I lost blood and was never able to recover that deer now this broadhead I still think has its applications um, if you're shooting heavy poundage long draw length I wouldn't shoot this broadhead on an arrow weighing anything less than about 450 grains it, especially at my setup because uh, the momentum it takes to open this thing up is a lot so keep that in mind with that uh, 125 grain schwack lastly moving on to a mechanical that I'm very excited to test in uh, the upcoming months with turkey season and also deer season right here the sever this is the 1.5 um, I did not order any of the two inch severs but I have no problem shooting this at any deer I think this 1.5 diameter or 1.5 width cut is a much better penetrating broadhead than that two and a half inch cut so I'll definitely be using these on deer this year I just like the deployment method of the severs um, their quality made very well I like that you are able to order however many you want and their practice system overall really great now as you may see I'm running the hit insert system on this I just have 50 grain brass hit insert in here that's a very solid system um, I did not shoot anything with the hit system yet but um, we'll see in the future what happens with that let's talk about next year and what we're going to be thinking for an arrow setup now I haven't gotten anything ordered yet but this is the setup I'm thinking. Um, one of my buddies, he had been shooting the Black Eagle Rampages. Um, he was not a huge fan of them, uh, but he did. He lost quite a few. It's not due to the arrow's fault. I want to do some testing on these. I really like the price point they're at and also the um, GPI. Now, for a... 001 straightness I believe these are only like 12 something an arrow so that's very 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 uh, affordable the axis which I did not get the match grades those are like uh, 1150 something an arrow so a little more expensive but you do get that 1000 straightness now this arrow is actually a 250 spine in the 3000 straightness and I have just been shooting it mixed in with these axes because it's very similar uh, in weight when I run 175 grains in here and 200 on this. Also, as I said earlier in the video, these Grim Reaper broadheads, they will be on my arrows this season. Um, at my draw length, I have had quite a few problems with mechanicals and shooting deer. And so let's dive further into that. All right, now just to address some things, I in no way think that mechanical broadheads are bad options. I think that there are a lot of great companies that make good ones, get yourself quality ones, do research on uh, what arrow weight you should shoot. But for my draw length, the speed I want, the type of hunting I do, I think it makes it really hard for me to gain any speed which means mechanicals are not quite um, the best option for me. Now, on an elk, I personally would never shoot mechanicals with my um, draw length and setup and all like that. I am going to start catering towards a little bit faster arrow with fixed blades. I think that'll solve a lot of the problems I am having. And um, just get your fixed blades to fly straight and you should be... Good to go you do suffer a little accuracy in the wind with fixed blades but 
I think that in my uh, position I am in with my 27 inch draw length, um, I'm not getting a lot of speed. I think that having that fixed blade is much more of a benefit. Another thing, with the difference between three fletch and four fletch, I did some testing as you guys saw in an earlier video. I will be going back to, I think, a three fletch with good helical of the Max Stealth. And I did an example here on this Black Eagle Rampage. Um, yep, real strong helical on there. Get that arrow spinning. For me, three fletch is simply just a little quieter. Um, but that's really about it. Um, I didn't notice a ton of difference between the four fletch and three fletch. I think that they steer broadheads like pretty similarly that I was not able to tell the difference a whole lot. Um, I do think a four fletch is gonna steer a um, fixed blade a little better. The reason I'm not going with that is I just feel like having four of those 2.6 uh, veins, long veins, it's just not, I don't need to have that. So means just less weight here in the back, increased FOC, and all that good stuff. One thing I will tell you about the Black Eagle Rampage arrows that I do not like. Their knocks, not a big fan of. I'm a real big fan of the Easton X knock, so I might be playing around with what knocks I'm going to be putting in here. Right now I have an Easton X knock in this rampage, and really like it. Fits good, everything. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Um, if you want to see us test any different types of arrows, if you want to see me mess around with 4mm arrows, um, I'm willing to do that. Just uh, let us know in the comments and let us know if you guys have found any things in what you guys have been doing. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another episode. Well, what's your consensus to hunting in general?